Hi, I'm Mark Poole. I wanted to explain about the ejection fraction. You may have heard that term if you've seen a cardiologist, maybe one of your friends or family members. It refers to the portion of material or volume removed from a chamber. It usually refers to the heart, but it could possibly refer to the gallbladder. In general, it refers to the left ventricle, although nobody typically says left ventricular ejection fraction. They just shorten it to ejection fraction. And from my personal point of view, it really should technically be the ejection percentage since it comes out as a percentage, but everybody just calls it ejection fraction. The point being, it's the amount of blood that the heart pumps out as a percentage with each beat. Now, if you didn't know better, you would think it was 100%, right? Isn't that full strength of the heart? Well, not really, because there's always some blood that stays in the heart chamber. I think of it as priming for the next beat. So the heart's never empty, and no matter how fast your heart rate, it can always catch up and pump more blood because it's not empty. So a normal ejection fraction is 60%. 60% of the volume of blood is pushed out with each contraction of the heart, and that's normal. You don't really want it to be 70% or 80%. You, you cannot possibly make it 100%. And that's not even desirable. 60% is normal for the human heart. Most of the time, clinically speaking, if it's 50%, we still kind of consider that normal or don't think of it as a disease process or a real problem. But if the ejection fraction starts to be lower and lower, it becomes increasingly concerning because it's difficult for the heart to pump enough blood for the body at a lower ejection fraction. So 40%, we would say, is concerning. If it gets down 35%, 30%, then the patient is at risk for the potential for heart failure. And once you get down to 20% and lower, it can be a very difficult clinical problem. And there are some levels of ejection fractions, say 5%, that are virtually not compatible with life. So a, a mechanical device like an LVAD or uh, perhaps even a heart transplantation may be needed at that level because the organs of the body are not going to get the blood flow that they need. An ejection fraction usually can't be determined by a physical exam. You really can't get it off of an EKG. And probably the most common way is from an echocardiogram, which is a fancy ultrasound of the heart, which shows the heart in motion, the contraction of the ventricles, in particular the left ventricle, and can help to understand the ejection fraction. If you're still a little bit confused about the difference between an EKG and an echo, be sure to check out my video about the distinction between the two. And if you have any wonderings about your ejection fraction, be sure to check with your cardiologist or your primary care doctor and they may be able to inform you more about it.